this morning. The family is uh, sleeping in the camper here. The chunky fella is back again. We are at the Piney River. We are, my camper is literally right over there. And we are getting started. We'll be going down to uh, Pinewood Camp and Canoe from Piney River Resort. Big fan of Piney River Resort. And um, sorry, I just carried a kayak and I'm a chunky fella. So if I'm sucking wind, that's what's going on. But that's the plan for today. We're excited. You know, despite a whole bunch of rain, it's still pretty here. So we are, we're hoping to catch some smallies. If you watch a previous video, I caught a trophy rock bass on this float. So, but it is just beautiful, peaceful. You know, my buddy's over here fishing. I don't know if he wants me to say his name, so I'll call him Captain Redbeard because he's in the Navy and he has a red beard. So, he said I didn't have to blur his face, but I'm all about privacy. So, that's the plan for today. Hopefully, we get some good ones. I'm telling you, Goose, you got the wrong one, buddy. I will smack you square out of the sky with this paddle. I don't want any smoke. You go that way. I have no choice. I have no choice. I'm a chunky fella fish. I want nothing to do with you. This Charlotte and all of her cousins have taken over this tree. Oh God. No, thank you. If I ran into that, I'd rather just drown. Look, I, I don't know if it's as obvious as the way it looks to me, but that is absolutely horrifying. Kind of pretty, mostly horrifying. I haven't gotten, a, I haven't had a lot of luck here. And my new reel, I don't think I've. I've gotten to cast it more than about four times <laughs> because uh, every time I cast it, I lose my lure. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, first one for me. Did you get one yet? Yeah. Well, let me get this out. I don't want it in your eye, buddy. He's a good looking fish. Little spot. We've had some technical difficulties. Let's see where we're coming in at. This is not easy in mud deep mud oh come on man we're at 16 inches two two pounds a little less than two pounds technically all right he's out of here there you go That's a decent rock bass. I don't think we're dealing with a uh, 
prize rock bass or anything, but it is a decent one. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, we're, you know, eight and a half inches. No monster, but, you know, decent rock bass. He's out of here. There he is, swimming away. Got one? Smalley? Same. Real monster. Oh, shit! <laughs> there it is. He jumped a couple times for us here. No, crawl. Yeah, he pretty. Fourteen inches. There we go. There we go. Decent. Decent. I'm not going to measure him. He looks to be about 16, maybe 15 inches. But he was a fighter. And there he go. Back where he came from. So this is where I'm fishing. I mean, come on. This is Middle Tennessee, guys. I mean, it looks like someplace in a jungle somewhere or something. There's moss all over the rocks, and it's just beautiful. We're going to have to get that out of your face, buddy. All right. He 
Y'all, this is a great fishing day. My buddy's catching fish. I'm catching fish. Oh, dang. Good one. Probably about the same as the last one. Little big eyed rock bass. He's a chunker. He's, oh man. Let's try. Huh? The ah, I did. <laughs> Gotta click the button. He's a chunker. Look at that tummy. Hey, that one might be, he's a little long. He's a little long. He's long and he's strong. Look, he's doing the slappy slappy of my wrist. All right, it's possible he could be 10 inches. Don't say that. Let's we'll see. He's nine inches. Oh. I was just telling Redbeard here that every time I make this turn, I always end up amazed. It's like this area, this is all pebble and rock right here, but when you get over here, it's like sand. So the water is like turquoise, emerald, you know, just beautiful. But here you have these giant like bluff rock formations sticking out and, uh, Every time I make this turn, I always think, golly. I mean, it's just mesmerizing. I don't know if it translates in video, but uh, I don't know. It's pretty cool. You see these, like that rock was probably, these are frequently convex or like this one here. And imagine those trees, probably the roots make a piece fall off every now and again. And I would li like not to be under it when that happens. It may be every hundred years or something, but that would be the chunky fella's luck. So. But it's, I mean, come on. I don't know if that translates, but it's amazing. Oh yeah. Little rock pass again. Did you get one? Oh, he's pokey. Nice little snake right there. See it? It's on this branch right here. It's not very big.
Isn't there like just like another river and then we're basically done or am I crazy? Huh? Isn't there another river that comes in and then we're basically done? Oh, here we go. Oh, another rock bass. They definitely like the uh, Nico crawl. And off you go. All right, you're gonna have to hold on a minute, rock bass. Because we are not in the safest of spots here. <laughs> All right, I think. Get your back squared away now. then guys we are at the takeout it was a successful trip caught a bunch of fish um, Captain Redbeard caught some fish went really well pretty excited about it so I wanted to thank you guys for joining me and uh, wish you all tight lines each and every one of you We'll catch you next time.